Eight years ago, after running my own business, for 15 years, and my business was putting on special events, I realized that actually there was more to life than just looking after me and my immediate family. I do have two gorgeous sons who are now way, way older than you, all of you, but in a way they're part of my inspiration because I did want to feel and be a role model for them and show them that there was more to do in life than just look after our own selves. So eight years ago, thinking about my skills, thinking about what I knew, what I could do, what perhaps was lacking, was noticing that at every one of my events, I was an event producer. Have any of you ever been to a party, been to a wedding, had a celebration and noticed that there's generally an enormous amount of food at those, at those parties? That is the, t the way we celebrate is over food and around food. And I, my business was making sure that companies or individuals were celebrating and marking a unique moment in their life, either personal or their business lives. And so I was always producing masses of food. Particularly because I don't know if any of you have ever been to a party where there might not have been enough food and you had to go to the local Maccas on your way home. I never wanted anyone to do that at my events. So I always made sure there was plenty food. And I kept noticing that there was a huge amount of food left over. And when I finished the event and the food finished, it was not always at the same time. So I couldn't most of the times do much about that food and I'd see that food just getting thrown away. Beautiful quality, fabulous food that the client, somebody had paid a lot of money for. So when eight years ago I decided that I wanted to do something significant, I figured what do I know? I know that there's food, I know that there are people in need and that perhaps the best thing I could do would be to bring those two together. I didn't know how good that could be, and I didn't know really what it would mean to me personally, or actually to Australia, because at that time, nobody was doing this, nobody had ever done it, and the whole concept of recycling and, and the term food rescue had never even existed. Nobody was tapping into all that waste food that was being thrown away. And so I decided to do that. It didn't occur to me that I would fail, actually. Perhaps I'm very naive. Perhaps some might even say a little silly. But it just didn't occur to me that if I could tap into that good food and deliver it to people in need, that it wouldn't be a good idea. Did some research. Nobody else had done it. Figured, well, clearly that was my job. I did think it would take me about a month. I'm, again, like things to happen fast. I figured all I need to know is how I'm going to do this. And then I found an organization in America, so I went and checked that out. And once I had a model, I thought, what's going to be the problem? I need to raise some money, I need to get a truck, and I need to find where the food is, which I knew that at events, and I been into a supermarket many times and seen masses of food and wondered what happens to their leftovers, hotels, delis, takeaways. Anyway, it didn't take a month. It took a year. But somehow, once I realized that this was my purpose and that this is what I was going to do, it didn't seem to matter how long it was going to take. The purpose became make it happen and if it was going to take me for the rest of my life, that's really what I'd set out to do. But in fact, it took a year, and what it involved was talking to a lot of people. And in a way, I was a little bit like the Pied Piper. When you come up with a good idea, and you tell people, and people say, oh, that's brilliant. What can I do to help? And in a way, that's what happened. And in November 2004, I had raised enough money to get a van, 
have someone answer the telephone, have an office donated to me, and that van, that yellow van, well, my first one was white because I didn't have enough money for the yellow. After that first one, I realized that yellow is such a great, bright, impactful color. You see, that's why they gave the teachers yellow armbands. But, um, and from then on, our vans were yellow. And in that first month, we collected the equivalent of 13,000 meals, and we delivered it to eight different charities. And I have to tell you, I pinched myself black and blue. I couldn't believe that really I'd had an idea, and now there was a van driving around collecting food. I must say, in the first year or two, I had people calling and saying, I see your vans everywhere. There was one van riding around in circles that people just kept seeing. We now have 15 vans, and last month we delivered the equivalent of 380,000 meals and delivered it to over 400 different charities. So we've grown. Thank you.